Today on Mike Attempts, Honda Civic Clutch Fluid Flush. I was unable to find Honda's recommended interval for flushing the clutch fluid, so I just do it every three years along with the brake fluid. The clutch bleeder is right there. Remove the protective rubber cap and hit it with a squirt of penetrating oil. I picked up this one person bleeder bottle in hopes of making this job easier. The one way check valve helps prevent air from entering the system. Start by removing the old fluid from the clutch reservoir with a turkey baster, but not the same one you use to baste your turkey. Then top it off with some fresh brake fluid. My Civic uses DOT3, but check your cap to be sure. Attach the hose to the tip of the bleeder and crack it open with an 8mm wrench. You only want the bleeder open just enough to allow fluid to pass through. If you open it too much, it makes bleeding more difficult and also increases the chances that air will be sucked in past the threads. Now pump the clutch pedal a few times and then check the fluid level. You do not want the reservoir to go empty or it will start sucking air into the line. The clutch pedal should still have some resistance. If it's too easy to push down, turn the bleeder screw clockwise just a little to restrict the flow a bit. Repeat the process of refilling and pumping until you can see clean fluid in the hose. Remember, this method only works if you're using a bleeder system with a one-way check valve. The clutch reservoir is small and the lines are short, so you should be able to perform a complete flush with around 6 ounces of brake fluid. Once finished, tighten the bleeder screw, remove the hose, and replace the rubber cap. Check the clutch pedal to make sure it feels normal. Refill the clutch reservoir to the max line. Screw the cap back on. Take it for a test drive and you're done. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.